Dear friends, we have such a format and this is such a time that information is being conveyed to you in an online format. This is a very flexible format which can access any point of the globe, but on the other side it's not a very simple event because the online platform where you are present right now and where you are watching the content we provided was developed in a very short period of time by the person who is on the screen, German Holov, a digital marketing director in positive technologies. Hello, German. Hello. Good morning. German. <clears throat> this creation of yours, online creation of yours, which was not uh, stolen from anybody, which was not copied from anybody, which came out of your head and the heads of your associates closely involved in this process. Can you tell us, please, what is this, how this can be used and how it works? The platform is called Standoff. We truthfully were assembling it from the scratch, from the idea of pulling the experience of offline events into online. And we have tried to do it in such a way so that it would be maximally convenient for the users to follow the standoff gate. Everything that we've been speaking about this morning about uh, attacks about uh, our virtual facilities being broken in. You can also see all of this in our site and you can see real status of real situations, how the attackers are attacking infrastructural objects of the city. Then you can see how the blue team or defenders team are defending all of this. You can watch it directly online. We have this connection working and everything that happens on this gaming platform immediately is being published online. Plus, if you will go to the main page, you will see me and Vladimir and all the direct streams that are happening on the platform are being broadcasted on the site. So what is the most important that I wanted to tell you about? It's the battlefield. And this is the side section where we show all the infrastructures of our virtual city. <clears throat> and we are not just telling you about them, but also about those risks which can be realized if hackers would attack that specific facility. This can be oil refinery, this could be airport, this could be a seaport, this could be a shopping center or business center. And each of these facilities has its own risks, risks which influence the company and sometimes the lives of regular people who don't think even about those things. And our main objective was to tell that the cyber threats world is more than just real and everything which happens or if any attacks which you don't see with your own eyes, it doesn't mean that they are not happening. We see only the consequences. We see the consequences of realization of these risks. So this form is aimed at showing these consequences, telling about them, and in more or less understandable form, show them on the site. Another important section, which is called uh, the spreadsheet, rating spreadsheet. We also call it a scoreboard. In this scoreboard, we reflect points for red teams and the time of incident reaction on the side of the blue team. Red team points, what are those? These are points for the risks being realized on the gaming platform. This is bug bounty and points for cryptocurrency being generated. Right now you see on the screen the scoreboard which shows the current condition in our platform. Blue teams also have their own scoreboard which works on the following principle. The less time the blue team reacts to the incident, the higher the place is in the rating. Also on the pages of our portal, we've tried to tell you about the teams, tell you stories about 
what they've been doing, what is the composition of their team, and we have not forgotten about the big conference part, which is going to begin very soon. And we have tried to select the most interesting speakers from the informational security world. And in our schedule, in this section, you can look at the whole grid. You can add into selected area the interesting presentations. And by clicking at any presentation, you can drop into its detailed page, and you can see what is being told by the speaker. As I understand, today we have a very interesting program, and I insist to follow it. And you're going to tell us about it separately, as I understand. What else is so good about the platform is that we have tried to assemble our friends, the friends of the standoff, people who are supporting it, our sponsors, our media partners. And each one of them has their own account where they can tell about their content, where they can interrelate through chats with the audience which comes to them and tell something about themselves, tell something from the informational security world. Also, behind the greed of our sponsors and partners, we can see the all presentations, all the events, all the all of them. They are pointed with a special label, and you will always be able to understand what's going to be different topics about. So, briefly speaking, that's all I wanted to tell you. But if there is something else is available, well, you may ask me a couple of questions and I will answer them. German, thank you very much. It was a very detailed and interesting story. Can you tell me, please? Does this platform have some pieces which were just copying and pasting as interfaces or as code elements, or this is a, was developed from the scratch? How the platform was developed? Well, the platform structure has completely been developed by us from the scratch. We've tried to create to use such a language and to tell about our event in the most convenient way. We've been building user journey depending from those target audiences to which we have been aiming to and we've been trying to forecast and predict their desires. As for do we have any ready elements, uh, I will tell you honestly, yes, we do have ready elements. These are chats. The chat was connected because, unfortunately, we didn't have time to develop our own uh, chat from the scratch. But I don't think that this is some kind of a copy-paste or something bad about it. I don't see anything. Why should we invent the bicycle if there's a lot of good bicycles or good services in the market. So we could concentrate on those things that are more related to the platform, so that platform would satisfy more objectives than creating some services from the scratch. So the main part of our preparation and designing of the platform was spent to make this maximally convenient as much as possible. We do understand that platform is our first version of it. And basically speaking, it's a start, starting point, which doesn't mean that next year or starting from the next event, we'll have the same functionality. No, of course, we're going to improve it. We will get direct feedback from Telegram. And I have a lot of desires which are coming to the platform. And I have my own desires to the platform. We are documenting those wishes, and we are creating the backlog uh, for future development. And we will use and prioritize this backlog for the development and will implement new functionality which can improve the user experience. Wonderful. German, thank you very much. Welcome. What this platform helps us to do? Well, it helps us to visualize cyber fights. You see the battlefield, you see the counters which are given to different teams for the execution of different uh, tasks. 
and also online broadcasting for video streams. So everything which happens on our platform happens live right now. So right now is 12.41 in order for you to do the time check. So dear friends, please write to us in the chat, which is available in our online stream that you're watching right now, and also to other chats, to technical speakers. And they will be able to answer you to your questions and requests. Thank you very much, German. Thank you, Vladimir. Have a good day.